Hi guys, this is Vineet and in today's video we will discuss about the side-by-side -side installation of integration services in SQL Server. So before we proceed, I have a request you guys to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as uh, subscribing gives us huge motivation to create new videos for you and for other SQL professionals. In the middle, if you see right now, I have around like uh, 340 subscribers at present, and I want a discount to be somewhere near about 500 subscribers. And uh, right now, I have uh, 142 videos posted on my channel, and uh, this count is increasing day by day. We post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and therefore, this count is increasing. And on the right hand side, if you see out of 100 viewers, only 4% of them are subscribed to our channel. So I would request these viewers to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It will it will generally take like few seconds to subscribe to my channel. Now, there's a subscribe button below this video. Click on that subscribe button. You will get a bell icon. Click on that bell icon. Select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. And uh, on the right bottom side, uh, it is showing us the um, animation on how you can like uh, my videos, subscribe to my channel, get notified uh, regarding my future videos. And there are some points to remember while watching my videos. Please watch this video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept and if possible for you. Please watch this video twice. Perform any exercises in your test or lab environments only. Do not touch any production environment or production databases. And we would like to know your thoughts regarding our videos. So please share your comments with us. We would love to read them. And in case you need the PDF copy of the notes that are discussed during this video, uh, for this video I'm not posting any PDF notes. Otherwise, for other videos we have PDF notes. So in case you need the PDF copy of the notes, there are two methods. First method is by paying a nominal fee. A link can be found in the video description area. You can use that link to uh, download the PDF notes by paying a nominal fee. Second method is the free method, which uh, in which you can subscribe to my channel and send me the proof of subscription screenshot which is just below the video area uh, where the, you will see the subscribe button if you have subscribed to my channel uh, along with subscribe button you will uh, see my channel logo or channel name and along with that video title is also there take a screenshot of that area send that to me over my email uh, to my email address vrma vane at gmail.com i highlighted in pink color you can send your proof of subscription to this email address upon receiving your screenshot i will uh, determine the video title and uh, will send you the pdf notes accordingly and i have curated few playlists uh, to watch uh, for you guys uh, first one is the database design playlist which contains the videos related to database design area and they are around like 45 videos uh, currently hosted in this playlist so please guys uh, watch these videos out and these are very useful for you and the second playlist is on business continuity series uh, which has disaster recovery videos and uh, this, uh, videos related to backup management and uh, the third playlist is sql server indexing playlist it contains videos related to sql server indexing uh, fourth playlist is related to sql server performance tuning and it contains videos related to performance tuning of sql server so this is also a very useful playlist Please watch all these four playlists. Uh, links are given in the description area. Apart from that, the fifth link is of my channel page, which is youtube.com at the rate at slash at the rate SQL Talks by Vinny. You can open up this link in your browser to go to my channel page. Uh, there also you will get the subscribe button in case you want to subscribe. And apart from that, you will see the popular videos, latest videos, and videos with more views and uh, you will also find all of these playlists over there and you can check my channel page out uh, link is also there in the video description area now let's come back to today's topic which is side by side installation of integration services let's quickly go to notes so i'm covering the side by side installation of integration services so what do we mean by side by side installation installation of integration services side by side so let's go ahead so we can install SQL Server 2019 Integration Services or SSIS side by side with the earlier version of SQL Server Integration Services. So we can install the current version of SQL Server Integration Services side by side with the earlier version of SQL Server Integration Services. And there are some limitations involved in side by side installation. Let's talk about them. So let's cover the topic designing and maintaining the packages. 
and basically to design and maintain packages that target SQL Server 2016. SQL Server 2014 or SQL Server 2012 use SQL Server data tools for Visual Studio 2015. So if we use uh, SQL uh, Server data tools for Visual Studio 2015, we can cater, cater to packages that are targeting the following versions. Uh, it can be SQL Server 2016, 14 or Server 2012 versions. So all of these can be covered by the SQL Server data tools for Visual Studio 2015. And in the property pages for an integration services project, so if you take a look at the property pages for an integration services project, on the general type of the configuration properties, um, we select the target server version property and choose the SQL Server 2016, 2014 or SQL Server 2012. So we will talk about this later when we actually configure the package or properties of an integration services project. I will talk about this later how you can configure the target server version to a specific version. Uh, here we have a table which is showing the target version of the SQL Server uh, where we will run the integrations package and uh, development what development environment is required for that so if, it, if our target version of sql server is 2016 2014 and 2012 uh, sql server data tools for visual 2015 can be applied here here and here we can use this version visual studio uh, sql server data tools 2015 with all these three versions 2016 2014 and 2012 with 14, we can use another uh, tool as well. So that is SQL Server Data Tools uh, Business Intelligence for Visual Studio 2013 can also be used for this. In place of SQL Server Data Tools for Visual Studio 2015, we can use this version as well. SQL Server Data Tools Business Intelligence for Visual Studio 2013. Then can be used to create uh, packages that are targeted, targeting the version 2014. Similarly, for 2012, we can also use the SQL Server Data Tools Business Intelligence for Visual Studio 2012 to target any versions, uh, target any SQL Server 2012 versions. And to target any 2008 versions, we can only use Business Intelligence Development Studio from SQL Server 2008 to target any 2008 SQL Server packages. Now, let's talk about running the packages. Uh, you can use the SQL Server 2019 version of DT exec utility. This is utility, DT exec. So, we can use this utility to run packages basically on the SQL Server agent to run integration services packages. So, either this utility can be used, DT exec utility, otherwise, SQL Server agent can also be used to uh, run the integration services packages created by the earlier version of development tools. So in case we have packages available uh, that are created uh, using the earlier version of the development tools, uh, those packages can be run via the DT exec utility as well as the SQL Server agent. And when the SQL Server 2019 tools uh, loads the package that was developed in the earlier version of the development tools, uh, the tool temporarily converts the package in memory to the package format that SQL Server 2019 2019 integration services uses. So we can use old packages with uh, this new SQL Server version and uh, we can use the DT exec utility as well as the SQL Server agent. And basically the, these tools, the DT exec and SQL Server agent, these tools converts the package in memory to the package format uh, that SQL Server 2019 requires. And if the package has issues uh, that prevent a successful conversion, um, the SQL Server 19 tool cannot run the package until the, those issues are resolved. So this is quite clear. Uh, I would suggest you to go through this uh, paragraph once again to gain better clarity. Although I have covered it, you can uh, rewind the, my video and uh, see my description again to gain better clarity. Uh, or maybe you can watch my video altogether once again to gain more better clarity. So guys, we are done with this video. In this video, we have talked about how you can uh, run the integration services uh, side by side with the earlier version of integration services. And we have talked about how uh, a particular version of Visual Studio uh, data tools can be used to get uh, the various target versions. Uh, for example, Visual Studio 2015 can be used to get out the Great packages for the targeted environments 2016, 2014, and 2012 SQL Server. 
and uh, similarly we have talked about uh, other tools which can cater to this environment for creating packages for this environment uh, these are some of the tools which are SQL Server Data Tools Business Intelligence for Visual Studio 2013 and SQL Server Data Tools Business Intelligence for Visual Studio 2012 and apart from that uh, we have also talked about if your packages are created with the earlier version of uh, SQL Server uh, or the integration services the same packages can be executed in a new version by using the DDX utility or we can also use the SQL Server agent to run the older packages and uh, these two basically converts the package uh, to the format required by the newer version and uh, if there are any uh, issues in conversion of the packages or any issues found during conversion then we need to resolve those issues because the, before these packages can be converted with the new version of integration services uh, I hope you got it and I hope you like this video guys in case you like this video please click on the like button and uh, do post your comments on our videos do share this video with your friends and ask them to subscribe to our channel and also please guys uh, if you have not already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel there is a subscribe button below click on the subscribe button you will get a bell icon click on that bell icon select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos i thank you so much for your time on this video and you have a wonderful day ahead mm -hmm.